Six Flags Darien Lake is an interesting Six Flags property. Over the past 25 years, the chain has acquired, sold, and reacquired the park. While Darien Lake may not have the same rides as the chain's larger parks, it still has a formidable attraction lineup with eight different roller coasters, a few fun flat rides, and a full-fledged water park included with admission. So in this video, I will rank this New York Park's top 15 rides and attractions. Before starting the countdown, I want to note a few rides and attractions that will and will not be included. First, this list will not include Mind Eraser. There are a lot of bad Vacoma SLCs out there, and this one is among the worst. Prepare for a boatload of headbanging on this inverted coaster. Second, this list will not include any upcharge attractions. Third, this list will not include Wahoo Wave. While I have written similar slides elsewhere, I didn't venture into Hurricane Harbor in my most recent 2022 visits. But other water slides from Hurricane Harbor will be included on this list. I don't have too much footage for Darien Lakes Water Park, so I may have to show similar attractions at other parks in those situations. Fourth, this list will include a few defunct attractions I experienced in my original visit to the park in 2010. Starting off this list at number 15 is Moose on the Loose. This ride is goofy in the best way possible. It is one of those pony track rides targeted more towards kids, but adults are more than welcome to ride. This attraction's ridiculous narration always brings a smile to my face. It makes the ride. Number 14, Shipwreck Falls. This intimate shoot the shoots ride is short but satisfying, if you want to get soaked. You have a zippy drop followed by a giant splash. Number 13, Blast Off. This SNS space shot offers a great view, which makes sense because it's one of the park's tallest attractions at 18 stories tall. The ride is lacking in the power department though. The launch is just okay, and you only get some weak floater airtime at the top. I prefer the drop towers that blast you down to be honest. Number 12, Rolling Thunder. This Larson Super Loop has some great hang time. You'll come out of your seat on every revolution, especially on the ones where you nearly stall out. Number 11, Boomerang. This Vacoma creation is a decent boomerang. It's thankfully not one of the rough ones. The initial drop has some punch to it. Then you have three forceful inversions going both forwards and backwards. They are particularly disorienting going in reverse. Up next would have been Twister. This was a solid Huss topspin. I heard it ran a better program in its later years, but when I experienced it, I got a quick series of forceful flips at the start before a series of tame and uneventful rocks. Up next would have been Ranger. This Huss swinging inverter ship offered similar sensations to the Super Loop, but you had less restrictive restraints. Instead of over the shoulder restraints, you were secured by a lap bar which accentuated the crazy hang time. Number 10, Cannonball Run. This pro slide tube bowl slide is enjoyable as always. The initial plunge is fast and sizable. Then you have the fun visual of spiraling around the giant toilet bowl. Number 9, Mr. Twister. This pro slide creation is a tube slide with a series of mini funnels. These have fun little dips into them, followed by an abrupt and turbulent half-pipe they'll throw you about. Number 8, Tornado. This is your standard pro slide giant funnel slide, and that is fine by me. The drop is steep and offers a bit of air time. Then the giant funnel offers a pinch of weightlessness with some neat visuals as well. Up next would have been Grizzly Run. My memory of this Intamin Rapids ride is admittedly foggy but I remember it being decent for the genre. It was a fairly secluded ride with a few okay rapids, but the best elements were the soaking and mostly unavoidable waterfalls that would leave you dripping from head to toe. Number 7, Sky Screamer. This Funtime Star Flyer stands 24 stories tall, making it the tallest theme park attraction in New York. This one has great visuals as you get a bird's eye view of the park, campground, and water. Then it also has some force to it, particularly in the lower sections when you spin faster. A lot of the other models don't rotate quite as fast. And this one has a long cycle featuring two ascents. All these reasons are why I think it's easily my favorite flat ride at the park. 
Up next would have been Thunder Rapids. This was a pretty good arrow log flume. This one featured a tunnel and two drops, with the final one being surprisingly tall and thrilling for the genre. Number 6, Viper. This arrow multi-looper opened as the first coaster with five inversions. This ride is nearly four decades old, and you can tell, some spots have jackhammering, a little headbang, and slamming, which isn't too surprising for this ride type. But it's mostly tolerable for me because I'm tall enough to clear the top of the over-the-shoulder harness, so I can enjoy the nice ejector air on the first drop, the forceful trio of inversions in the first half, and the slow corkscrews that offer a pinch of hang time. Number 5, Moto Coaster. This is the prototype Zamperla motorbike coaster. Despite the ride's modest height and speed, the initial flywheel launch has some nice power to it. Then you have a series of layered turns and dips. I especially like the moments when the track rises up into the turns, which gives this weird diagonal airtime. This is a layout I don't mind being cloned because it does a lot in a little space. Number 4, Brain Drain. This is the best attraction in Hurricane Harbor. This duo of pro slide speed slides stands 7 stories tall. The initial plunge is thrilling between the suddenness of the trapdoor falling out and the steepness of the drop. Then the twists are smooth, fast, and moderately forceful. This slide is a rush. Number 3, Tantrum. This Gerslauer Eurofighter is a clone of Iron Shark in Galveston, Texas, and it has some nice elements. That is especially true because this one has more freeing lap bars than the usual over-the-shoulder restraints. The Beyond Vertical Drop has some intense ejector airtime. You are launched sky high. You also have a little bit of hang time, some smaller spurts of airtime, and some strong positive G's of points on the remaining elements. And this is all paired with a glass smooth ride. This coaster is pretty short, but the layout certainly packs a punch. Number 2, Predator. This ranking reflects the ride in the front row. Up there, this din creation is fairly smooth and tolerable. But if you ride in a wheel seat, this ride has the potential to be one of the worst rides in the park, which isn't too surprising given its reputation in the coaster community. I actually really like this ride's layout. The first two thirds have strong airtime and it is extra sweet because it's usually paired with laterals. Few rides offer as many instances of laterals and airtime simultaneously. I have an entire review going into more detail, but this is a very underrated coaster that I think gets too much hate. And coming in number one is Ride of Steel. This is the prototype Intimate Hyper Coaster, and we owe a lot to this ride for what came later. This ride has some great moments. The third hill has some powerful and sustained ejector airtime. It's one of the best hills in any Intamin Hyper. Then several other hills, particularly those on the finale, also offer strong negative Gs. The ride also has an incredible speed and a wonderful location over the water. The coaster is far from perfect though. It has imperfect pacing due to the straight track and repetitive helixes, and it has a bit of a shuffle you ride further back in the train. I have an entire review in this attraction, but it is the main reason coaster enthusiasts will want to visit this park, and it does not disappoint. So those are the top 15 rides and attractions at Six Flags Darien Lake, both on the dry side and the water park. What are your favorite rides at this New York theme park? Is Ride of Steel your favorite as well? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.